You should leave every woman that you have right now. Women are projecting their energy out of their body onto another man and asking them to have the burden to make them happy. She's so sexy. She has an ass. And then you convince yourself, this is the success, this is the desire, this is what will make you happy. And then you go for her. Maybe you smash her for the first time. She's good in bed. You are convinced that you can actually date. One month, you are already tired with that ass. It's just a projection. I feel this way. I need this to be fixed. Deep down, she's not happy. That is the energy she is communicating to you. Never show emotions. You are wise to keep your feelings contained to avoid them being weaponized against you. Your emotions will be seen as weakness and it will be exploited. Women like men who express emotions that women feel comfortable with. The moment you got comfortable and you are convinced that you finally got a girl, that is when you are totally fucked. Stop showing women your weakness. You aren't doing anything to get a woman who ain't even halfway worthy nothing. You are opening up to the most worthless woman. But when you realize her worthless behavior, values, you try to vilify her. Oh, she's bad. She could have done better. How do you expect toxic women to do better? They don't. She looks like she's my type. And then you lower your guard down and you open up. You like women who will never lend a shoulder to cry on to yes. Those are your toxic types that you are picking. Your other toxic types are women who have poor boundaries just to make a man jealous. Your behavior is not entirely personal. It's the struggle of picking women who triggers your weaknesses. Picking women who create toxic environment for you and you become that person. They contribute to create you so they make you become so weak through your triggers. Women only do one thing from desperate men. Steal men's time. That is it. For her validation, you have to think beyond women. Be ahead of that time. If she tries to use manipulation tactics, take it as a wake-up call for your triggers so that you can be in check for yourselves and not letting her in in your life to be taken advantage of. You don't have to know what the truth is to know that they are lying to you. Women are never contented with their men and they are always after better men. Sometimes you hold a lot in yourself and let these women slide because you don't want to come out as premature or crazy. And the truth of the matter is you don't need to know the whole story. You understand that the shit doesn't just add up. Case closed. When your gut tells you something is off, you need to be more and extremely nice to them. Just for them to dig a deeper hole and act like you notice nothing and let her lay out all her plans in front of your nose. She is the queen who can mess you up and fuck your emotional being. This is your own game in your head for your own safety, for your own plans. The moment you confess that you feel like something is off, you are teaching her how to lie better or she will turn it to you. She will fix your observations just to come out with a better plan for her safety. Don't ever point at anything but record it in your mind. Even when she got caught in a lie in front of you and you can see it in her face that she is lying, you spot it. Just change the subject. Babe, she's like, huh? Pizza or chicken? She's like, huh? For dinner? What do you want to have? Pizza or chicken? She's like, ah, you okay, baby? Yeah, I'm okay. Chicken is okay. Tell her. Um, I had chicken yesterday. What about tacos? Make her think that you're so dumb and you notice nothing. This is after realizing that she's talking to another man. 
behind your back. She is cheating. You can see it. You can feel it. You can sense it. Interrupt your feeling not to express how you feel about her actions. Mess with her reality so that she knows you know nothing. That is just a temporary strategy for your better plan so that when you go to her, it's not a confrontation, it is an announcement. And if that is worse, that you can't deal with her, you don't do it in her face. She will go crazy over you. And when she asks, babe, are you gonna leave me like that? Tell her, no babe, you left yourself. No fucking emotions kill her narcissism. Never be chained to a woman who will prevent you from living the best life of yourself. If you are a hardworking man consistently improving, you should feel superior to women who do nothing with their lives except trying to look good. It's natural to feel this way and it's necessary to destroy her oversized ego. It's not toxic if she is the woman who considers average guys to be underneath her. This is the right way to handle her. Why it's not toxic is you can't compare a hardworking man with a man whose life is all about watching video games. The last thing that a man should always keep in his mind is don't hit her up after that cookie. She might have been so fucking good and you want to really confirm it because the sex was amazing. Don't ghost her. What you should do is allow her to really understand that the sex was cool but it isn't what was always on your mind. Just don't make her feel like the queen who deserves everything just because you had sex with her. Signal her that the door is open for her to talk and you can have a relationship, but you ain't determining your relationship under the influence of the sex that she gave you. You are making everything clear for her. If she wasn't respecting you at all, but you can still have your power of controlling your life and not being controlled by her sexuality, you are going to confirm that you value a lot than just sex. You ain't among the few men she controls using that cookie. Don't allow her control your mind and mess up your emotional state of being because oh, you enjoyed and she was good on bed. She knows it. She's just waiting for your confirmation so that she can again trap you. Remember, Chasing money means creating legacy for your future generations to come, while chasing females means losing all your respect and honor. That is how the game ends. In the process, she's now praising herself so much high value with no valued qualities from her just because you gave her that tag that she's high value since she's good on bed. Bullshit. You chase her to complete her goals and you lose your dreams. And you just want a simple woman who can make you happy again. You get one. She's dramatic. But you are okay. And then after two months, women are just the same. You dump her. Are you doing that because she makes you happy? And she is the source of your happiness? Then you are lost. Observe. Never assume anything. Oh, I trust my wife. She goes to church. These are the women who cheat more because they know that when I go to church, it's easier for my husband to believe that I can always do the right thing. So I rather just use a church as a way of cheating. I can even end up sleeping with the pastor. I have seen dramas and chaos happen. You end up realizing that a marriage broke just because of a wife sleeping with a pastor.